Hello everyone and welcome to Aglesem School. I am Rohit and today we are going to discuss about exercise 1.4, question number 6 and 7 which was the last question of this chapter. So let's start with question number 6. Question number 6 says, in a class test, plus 3 marks for every correct answer and minus 2 for every incorrect answer and no marks for not attempting any question. So there is two parts. So the first part says Radhika scored 20 marks. If she got 12 answers, how many questions had she attempted incorrectly? So let's start with the solution. So marks given for one correct answer is 3. So for 12 correct answer, marks will be 3 into 12 that is 36. So Radhika scored total marks that is 20 marks. So marks obtained by Radhika is equals to 20. She scored after deducting incorrect answer. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to minus this 20 from 36 overall marks. Okay. So we will get minus 16. So minus 16 is the marks obtained by incorrect answer. So number of incorrect answer will be minus 16 divided by minus 2. Minus 2 is marks for incorrect answer. So we will get 16 divided by 2 in minus that is 2 ones are 2 and 2 eights are 16 and minus minus is plus. So Radhika attempted 8 incorrect answer. So this was the solution for the first part. Let's come to second part of the same question. So now let's come to second part of the same question, question number six. So second part says, Mohini scored minus five marks in the test through. She has got seven correct answers. Seven correct answers. How many question has she attempted incorrectly? So we have to find how many questions she attempted incorrectly. So marks for correct answer is equals to 3. So we have to do is 3 into 7 because she had done 7 correct answer. So 3 into 7 is equals to 21. But she get is equals to minus 5. So we have to do is minus 5 minus 21. That will be 26. Okay. Now we have to find number of question she attempted incorrectly. So question attempted by Mohini incorrectly is equals to minus 26 divided by 2. So therefore the number of question Mohini attempted incorrectly will be 26 divided by 2 in minus terms. 2 ones are 2, 2 thirteens are 26 and minus minus cancel. So your answer will be 13. So Mohini attempted answers incorrectly is equals to 13. So now let's come to question number 7. So question number 7 says an elevator descends into a mine shaft at the rate of 6 meter per minute. If the descent start from 10 meter above the ground level, how long it will take to reach 350 meter? So let's start with the solution part that is solution started from here. So Initial height is 10 meter, which is mentioned in question. So we have to find the time taken for reaching at 350 meter in minus. So what we have to do is we have to do is 10 meter minus in bracket 350 meter in minus that will be 360 meter. So time taken to cover 6 meter is equals to one minute mentioned in the question. So we have to find the total time taken to cover 360 meter. So we have to solve this time taken upon distance that is 1 by 6 into 360. So now we have to solve this part that is 6 on the 6 that will be 60 and 1 into 60 is 60 minutes is equals to 1 hour. So total time taken by shaft to reach at 
minus 350 meter will be 1 r so this was all for question number 7 so students thank you so much for watching these videos for more exercises of maths ncrt solutions keep watching aglesam school and subscribe to our channel and hit the like button till then bye bye